Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this was requested. Uh, I'm forgetting the username. I'm so sorry. But if you requested this reading, shout out to you. Drop a name in the comments. Um, but yeah, um, we're here to find out what does your boss think of you? So I only have three pals today. I want to keep it quite quick. This is like a mini reading, if you will, because I'm trying my best to not make it too long. Because I love readings that are like, not too quick, but not too long. But I feel the need to make it quick because I still need to do other readings. So I'm like trying to like speed it up, but still be clear and concise. Okay, so we have three piles today. Okay, part number one is the pink nail polish. Part number two is the I was about to say the yellow, the purple nail polish. And part number five is the yellow nail polish. Go ahead and pick your pass. I'm going to go. Okay. So we have... Okay, zero... Uh, 56. Sorry, I was stumbling on my words. 56. Okay, seconds in. Part one, you guys chose the pink nail polish. Now, what does your boss think of you? Hmm. We have the horse and the bluebell, modest fortitude. We have the Devil card, which is Capricorn energy. We have the High Priestess, which is Piscean energy. And we have I love you. And we have maybe. Okay. So I'm re I'm relying more on my intuition as opposed to the cards. Um, your boss kind of feels like you guys are really cute. Okay. And I don't know to what level of cute. I don't know if it's like, oh, you're so adorable to, oh, like I have feelings for you. You're kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? But so far, I feel like they feel like you're very, like, you're very, even though there's no Libra cards, I'm getting Libra energy kind of feel. Like, they feel like you guys are very diplomatic. You go in, you do your job, you try your best to not step on anyone's toes just to keep the peace between them and you. They also, do, with, with I love you, I feel like this person feels like they don't want to lose you. They feel like you're a really great asset, but there is more of, it's more of a case of like, some of you may give off young energy, even if you're not young, or I, to be honest, what is young? It's so subjective. It's a construct, okay? Um, this person finds you adorable, okay? Someone who is, you know, very unproblematic, but still adorable. And I don't even know if it's coming through your personality, but also your appearance. There's something about you that is just cute, okay? Um, they feel like you're a bit indecisive because we do have maybe. Maybe that's where the Libra energy is coming from, but you're also very attractive as well. Um, this person adores you, okay? Um, not to be inappropriate, but like if you weren't this person's um, employee, like they may be the type that would try and talk to you, chat you up if they met you, but not in like a creepy, creepy way, but in a way where it's like, they just find you adorable. They feel like, oh, you know, um, they don't want to breach any um, rules there, but they just find you adorable. They feel like you're lovable and you guys chose pink. So that does make sense. This, if you're, especially if you're a, a feminine energy, you may give off very feminine energy, very cute. Uh, your boss may be taller than you as well. But what is the name of this? Okay, this is Ring and Ring of Rosies. Okay, so this is giving childlike energy, young energy, innocence energy. There's something about your energy that makes them feel like they want to take care of you. You could be very feminine. It may not even be in the way you dress. It's just your aura. It's just your energy. Okay, um, you're, you're hard, you're like it's hard to not love you. Okay, you're very easy to love. That's what your boss thinks of you. But it makes them wonder, like, I wonder what life would have been like if they were not my employee. They find you to be very modest, okay? Very humble at heart. They feel like you try your best and whatever you do, you do it well, if that makes sense. Um, this person may be high. Your, your boss may be hiding things from you and it may be the fact that they are a little bit obsessed with you. Like, I don't know if you guys have some love thing going on. Even if you don't, if you don't feel like that is weird. Like, I just go in to do my work. But with the devil energy, it's like, this person may think a lot about you, okay? Or maybe they, maybe they get worried because they feel like, they hope that you don't take things negatively in, when you're working. Like, they're hoping that, you know, if they give you constructive criticism, you don't take it to heart. But it's like, I'm getting more of a case of they find you very cute. I don't know why that's coming through. Uh, like very humble, very sane, good head on your shoulders. Some of you may not be the most talkative, but I feel like th these people just feel like you, you get on with your job, okay? 
they feel very drawn to you there's something about you that's very mysterious but they also feel very drawn to you for some weird reason okay i don't know why the reason why i'm saying it's weird is because like it's your boss isn't it it's not like a lover so i don't know like they feel like you're very modest as well like you're just there's something about you that's just very humble um you could be the type of person that you just come across with really good morals and good values and you they feel like you you have a good judge of character okay you may be the type of person where you don't really even like to get involved with gossip at work but if someone brings you tea you're down to listen and reply but it's not like you like throw yourself into the tea like oh my god tell me more you know like you're very balanced okay i heard sophisticated as well very sophisticated in terms of like your boss feels like you're very you have a duality to you it's like you're very smart but at the same time you're very cute so it's almost like silent but deadly okay i don't know why i heard that but it's like you're very cute it's like when someone sees you or gets to know you has a conversation with you, you come off as very cute but it's like your mind is very sharp at the same time but you're also very modest and there's just something about you that it's also childlike but not coming from a place of na naivety but coming from a place of like innocence okay you're very lovable like they literally yeah i love you They're, you're very lovable okay but you also bring a lot of confusion in your boss because they're like are, are they like this all the time or is it just because it's a work setting you know that's what goes through their mind okay but they want they want you to stay in this workplace they don't want you to go okay with this devil card they're like you're chained here okay but they're very drawn to you very attracted to your energy and they try their best to, to respect that but they do have a lot of thoughts in their head let's just say that in regards to you that they like to keep under wraps but they let's just say they just found you really cute okay they they like you if you was outside of work they might even try and shoot their shot who knows uh, but that's what I'm getting, not to be creepy. Even if they're married, they just, like, they, this person could be loyal, don't get me wrong, but if they're not, then they're not. But I feel like this person would think, what would it be like if it was outside of work, okay? I don't think they're going to act on anything. They're going to keep things under wrapped and, you know, re be respectful. But that's the energy I'm getting. I'm going to move on to the next pile. Okay, so 728, pile two. You guys chose the lavender, okay, the purple. Okay, we have the wilderness, okay? So your boss may see you as someone who's very, very outspoken. Even if you don't speak a lot at work, there's something about your energy that gives Sagittarius energy, okay? It's giving, like, you are my boss, but I cannot be controlled. Even if you don't speak, like, even if you feel like you don't show this, it's just your aura introduces you before you introduce you, if that makes sense. They get a, a feel that you cannot be tamed. Or maybe that you're on the move to eventually leave, okay? They feel like you're, what's the word I'm looking for? Maybe overqualified or it's like you're working at this place, but you're deserving of even better things in life. Maybe even starting your own business, okay? We have the snake and the hickleberry. Trust in the invisible. Yeah, you guys may have a lot of faith. It's giving Sagittarius energy. We have air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh yeah, this is the Six of Swords, the, the like, Six of Cups. And uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have In a Year, we have Abundance, and we have FWB. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what does your boss think of you? Okay, your boss definitely feels like you're someone who, you, I'm just going to keep it real. They feel like you don't, you're not going to stay in this place for very long. And it's not because they're going to fire you or they want you out. It's because they sense that you know your worth and they sense that you're good and capable of uh, many great things. Okay. Amazing things. And they feel like maybe this job limits you, or maybe you see this job as like a way to fund what you really want to do. Like you may have a side hustle, but they may feel like, you have a lot of faith trust in the invisible they feel like you are very capable of doing a lot of things and you're very intuitive you go with what your heart and your mind is telling you to go so they see you actually eventually moving okay they feel like you're eventually going to leave this place this company and follow your heart and you will be dearly missed your boss is actually going to miss you because they really like your energy you add some sort of difference to this place like some some asset to this place 
okay with the seven of pentacles they feel like you're solely cultivating your your um something to do with your own craft they feel like you may be using this place as a way to pay the bills and fund your actual dream they feel i don't know why but they see you starting a business in the future they feel like whatever time and energy you've put into this work you're going to see the fruits of your labor maybe you guys could be saving up for something but they also see that if you put time and effort and consistency into whatever you've got going on outside of work it will thrive i don't know why but your boss just gets a sense that you're going to leave soon okay maybe between now and, and in a year's time they feel like by a year's time you won't even be here they i don't know why but your boss sees that you're you're capable of great things and if you act on it you'll be rich one day because we do have abundance and that's all about money right so they feel like you're going to accumulate a lot of wealth in the future and it won't be from them it'll be for something that you're really passionate about something to do with um heartfelt something that you're really passionate about we do have FWB. So I do feel like your boss finds you really attractive. Like even if you are meant to have like a work friendship connection, they feel like they wish that they had something more. And once you leave this place, they're hoping that one day they, they can reconnect with you outside of the work. And if it goes down, it goes down. Okay, but well, that's just for some of you. Maybe this person just really wants to be closer than what you are. They feel like I don't like this whole boss employee vibe. I want us to be closer than that. And I want us to be cool, cooler than that. Um, but the energy I'm getting mostly is like, yeah, like they see that you're someone who's capable of doing amazing things and you're going to go really far in life once you leave this place. Maybe they low-key feel like the place that you're at is like limiting you and you sense it. So you're going to move soon. But it's like we had a good run. That's the kind of energy I'm getting. It's like they see you like always on the go. They feel like you're always from here to here. You're always busy. Like you don't stay in a place for very long and you're always ready to want to embark on new experiences no matter where you go and that's the kind of vibe that you are giving off to your boss so yeah that's what's coming through um yeah they're just waiting for when you actually do leave they don't want to fire you they want you to leave whenever you want to leave because they want you to be happy but they also want to selfishly keep you so that's what they're like they're not going to fire you but they sense that you're capable of great things and one day you will leave okay but this person's very they find you really patient and you wait for the right moment to do things so you're very intuitive but you will be missed okay you will be genuinely missed they feel like they, it's like they're happy for you okay but that's what i'm getting i'm gonna move on to the next pile okay so 12 36 pile three you guys chose the yellow nail polish what color is this called chin up buttercup okay you guys could be gemini's okay don't you don't have to be um, but the energy I'm getting is these uh, this these bosses, okay? They see you as someone who's very cheerful, very positive-minded. Even under stress, like you may be the type of person that doesn't show your stress. Uh, you're someone who, you're very motivational. Your aura alone makes everyone feel very much comforted, loved, and feeling like they shouldn't give up. There's just some motivational energy you carry, okay? But you're you're like, you you energize the room. When you walk into the room, you energize it, even if you don't speak okay we have the bat and the hellboar intuition we have the world card sagittarius energy we have the strength card leo energy and we have the ace of swords air sign energy gemini libra aquarius we have i need you we have pride oh some of you guys can give off leo energy and we have soulmate Oof. okay okay so what does your boss think of you guys your boss sees you as a very powerful and valuable asset to this company they may not admit this if you feel like my boss don't treat me like that i don't see my boss telling me this if you're like Gemma, there's no way they feel that way they feel that way okay so if they haven't voiced that i'm te i'm talking through them they want to let you know that you are a huge asset to your team even if you even if you feel like they don't treat you as such you are you're very much valued um because we usually have i need you okay i'm here you need me man i don't need you okay they actually do need you guys way more than you need them let's be honest okay i heard diversity so some of you could also be very different to the other co-workers in appearance or race or culture there's something different about you guys but your boss actually sees you as a really big asset and they would actually be annoyed to see you go. So even if you felt like maybe your boss may not treat you right, I'm not saying you guys do feel that way. Some of you guys feel like, yeah, my boss is okay. My boss is all right. 
but for those of you who feel like oh no my boss doesn't really give me the vibe that they see me as an asset they're just being prideful they they need you so much and they feel like you they they wish you could stay in this team forever with the soulmate they feel like they, they like your vibe and you're you're actually made for this but it's almost like there's a little bit of pride maybe they feel like you guys are prideful maybe they feel like you guys are confident and you know your worth and you know you don't suck up to this boss maybe that's the vibe you guys give they like your confidence you know this is a solar plexus color so maybe they feel like you don't even feel the need to suck up to them you just do your job you don't fear hierarchy you know you know your values and you know your worth and you know the rules when it comes to you know uh, some of you could be very communicative, so you may be good with your communication skills, but they find you very witty, very intelligent, um, very strong if you're doing something handy, but very prideful, okay? They may feel like maybe you don't say as much, or if you do say something, it's coming off as like you know it all, like yeah, little miss know it all, or little mister know it all. You're very intuitive though. They sense you to be very, very like very like tapped in very woke maybe the things you talk about maybe you're the type of person that you don't really talk unnecessarily but when you do you have something of substance to share okay they i feel like your boss gets scared of the day that you will leave like they this boss of yours is scared of you leaving they will never fire you okay they're scared of you leaving because with the world card it's like stepping into a new cycle and this is what they're trying to prevent because they need you okay you guys definitely do not give off desperate energy and maybe that's why they need you because they're just like maybe other people in your workplace would be willing to suck up and keep their job but you're just like i could leave any day like if i'm just disrespected i will leave okay for some of you you could have friction with your box uh with your boss sorry but it's like you give off the energy of like if i'm not happy baby i will leave i fear nobody I feel no bitch. Okay, it's just like you give up this energy of like you're here to do your job, but it's like you don't see this as like a forever thing and you could leave at any moment. So that's the vibe that your boss gets from you. But they feel like you are perfect for the job. They feel like you're very highly skilled. You're really good at what you do. What you do may be deemed as challenging in other people's eyes and they feel like you do it well. You're very skillful. Some of you could give off Virgo energy as well. Very analytical, very practical, very consistent. You, you're good at what you're doing. Um, and, they, and they basically just see it. But you also come across as someone who you trust yourself. Like you don't feel insecure when doing your work. You're very secure in what you're doing because you follow it. It's something that is meant for you. Um, but you may feel like, okay, well, I'm good at other things as well. You know, I'm just getting a vibe that they just, they, we have, I need you. So it's like, almost like they, they don't want you to go, okay? I don't know if you guys are planning to leave, but this person, or well, this boss, sorry, like really views you as like, you're a huge asset, okay? I heard alarm so maybe some of you are, are very punctual like you're always on point okay that's what i'm getting <laughs> very many reading that's what i'm getting um i hope you enjoyed the reading let me know what you want to see next and take care bye